when I got the phone call from my girlfriend, Sherry McCovey, who was alumni of Spelman, and she said, you know, Monique, they would like for you to come down and be a part of a wellness program they're starting to talk to the young ladies. The reason why it struck me and it made me say I have to be involved because it's such a massive problem. When, when you get a quote from the president of Spelman saying there's an alarming number of women in our school that are fighting depression, obesity, hypertension. Well, when you think Spelman College, you think this is creme de la creme. This is where every woman would want to send her daughter because she knows she's going to get the top education. But when you see that the numbers are growing with these issues and these problems, guess what? Without your mental health, without your wellness, without your spiritual health, guess what? That education won't mean a hill of beans. There are so many educated sick people out there right now. So I, I'm, I'm glad that there is a program being started to say, not only do we want to make sure you have the book smarts, we want to make sure you walk away with that, but we want to make sure you walk away with your mental health intact. We want to make sure you walk away with your physical health intact. I think that saying goes, when you're a child, you do as a child, but when you grow up, you have to do things that grown people do. For a long time, I was a child in my way of thinking. I thought that I could eat what I wanted, do what I want, and, and was reckless in the sense of abusing my body. Now that's when I was younger. I think that the journey that I have to take now is I have babies. I have a son 23, but I also have a son 9, and we have twins 7. I want to meet their children. I want to be able to play with their children. I don't want to be a burden on my family due to self-neglect. So when you hear those words from somebody that says, that's too much weight, well, you could take two paths. You could either take an attitude and keep on going, or you could say, let me stop and listen and take a different direction. Because, again, I was fortunate to watch my grandmother play with my children. I want to be in the same position. So that's why now I have to make the decisions not to poison my body, not to poison my mind. Is it challenging? Yes, I like Krispy Kreme. <laughs>